Good morning. It's Tuesday, August 15th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When the Cross Gets Heavy, and our scripture is 2 Timothy chapter 4, where the Apostle Paul writes to his young protege, I solemnly urge you in the presence of God and Christ Jesus, who will someday judge the living and the dead when he comes to set up his kingdom. Preach the word of God. Be prepared whether the time is favorable or not. Patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage your people with good teaching. For a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears want to hear. They will reject the truth and chase after myths. But you should keep a clear mind in every situation. Don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Work at telling others the good news and fully carry out the ministry God has given you. What the Apostle wrote to young Pastor Timothy was not an easy read. Paul knew something about the bell curve of church life. People get excited about second chances, about grace and love and God's blessings. But there's more than consumer friendliness to the gospel. There are also hard truths for anyone who wants to follow Jesus. And those truths are not optional equipment. They are not up for discussion. Jesus said so very plainly in Luke chapter 9. He said to the crowd, If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross daily, and follow me. Paul warned Timothy that he would encounter those who prefer an easy life much more than God's truth. The earthly life of Jesus displayed that truth clearly. By the time the Galilean finished his ministry, the crowds had not only dwindled, but turned against Jesus. In the end, it was a single apostle and two women who stood at the foot of the cross. The 5,000 Jesus fed were out looking for someone else to fill their bellies. A church I once served as pastor was on that decline curve. Aging out was on their near horizon. At homecoming that year, I preached a message about open and closed doors and how it was our responsibility to pay attention. We should not become the lukewarm church, according to Revelation 3. After the service, an older woman who always sat on the seat furthest from the pulpit with a scowl that would blister titanium said to me on the way out the door, Pastor, you should preach what these people came to hear. We want to hear good stuff, happy stuff, not about churches being closed. I told her I agreed with her. I also wanted to hear good stuff. I wanted to hear about church being on fire with love for God and how they were telling their neighbors about Jesus. But what I wanted came in a distant third to what I was called to preach, which was the truth. Churches are dying for lack of preachers and members who are more concerned with telling the gospel than just living in their happy zone. If that seems harsh, it isn't any wonder. It is blunt and it's a heavy cross to carry. But so was the cross Jesus carried to Golgotha, the same cross he said anyone who wanted to be his disciple must carry. For you today. So, what do you do when the cross gets heavy? Well, you get in the yoke with Jesus. He has promised to take the heavier side of the work. Your calling as a disciple of Christ is, as Paul told Timothy, to preach the word, no matter whether people think it's in season or out of season. If the gospel is offensive in today's culture, preach the word of the gospel anyway. The response of the people is in their hands, not yours, and only God is the judge of all of it. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.